Hello, this is Matt Jockham with Talus TCT. Today I'm going to be talking about how Talus TCT can assist DoD customers with a couple disastigs in order to maintain your authority to operate on the DoD information network. Recent updates to the Windows Server 2019 STIG will require customers in a VMware environment to implement an external key manager. These updates apply to Windows 2016 and Windows 2019 server environments. These STIGs require enabling Credential Guard to meet DoD compliance. Credential Guard uses virtualization-based security within Windows to isolate and store secrets and user credentials so that only privileged system and software can access them. TPM functionality in addition to UEFI with Secure Boot allows system administrators to enable Credential Guard on Windows 2016 and 2019 servers. What I'm going to show you today is an integration with the Talus Key Management Appliance and vSphere to enable trusted platform modules and VM encryption. This, in combination with enabling Credential Guard, will help you meet these stake requirements. In order to start this process, we're going to need our vSphere client to be at version 6.5 or above and version 6.7 for VTPM. Now moving over, we need a valid KMS cluster. You can see here I have got two servers replicating in HA, and we will also need a KMIP enabled domain. When we go back to the vSphere client, what we're going to do is go to our configuration and key management servers. And then here we're going to add a couple KMS systems into a cluster on vCenter. Here I'm just going to make a new cluster. The first one will be DSM01. This does not need to be a fully qualified domain name. The server IP address, as well as the server port, which is 5696, and that is the KMIP port for these systems. Now, what we'll see is the DSM certificate will appear, and that is being provided through that port that we've just determined or we've just set up with our DSM01, and we're going to go ahead and trust that on vCenter. We're going to do the same thing and add our secondary node, DSM02, to this cluster as well. And we can see here that the same certificate is populated for that DSM. So now that we have these in the system, we need to make the KMS or the DSM's trust vCenter. Um, and then from there we can get connected. So in order to do that, we're going to click on Make KMS Trust vCenter, and we're going to select our vCenter certificate and download that to our local system. Now that we've downloaded that to our local system, I'm going to move that to my desktop. And on my desktop, I'm going to change the name of this PEM file to a .cer file. And that's just going to allow me to see the certificate and who it's issued to. And what I'm looking for in this particular certificate is the issuer name or the common name of the subject. And that common name is what we're going to be using to add to the DSM. And that's kind of our connection name that we're going to add here. So I'm going to log into my domain. I'm going to go to hosts and add, and I'm going to put in that common name that I copied out of that certificate. I'll just go ahead and change the license type and make sure that KMIP is enabled and communication is enabled as well. And click OK. So now that we've got this host added here, I'll click on the name of it, and this will bring up the host information. And we can see that everything is ready to be enabled here. And I can see at the bottom right, we can import a KMIP cert. And we're just going to choose that certificate file that we downloaded off of vCenter and click OK. And we can see that that successfully uploaded a signed certificate, self-signed client certificate to the system. We have a certificate fingerprint. And if we go back to vCenter or vSphere, we'll click OK. And it's as simple as just refreshing this page. We should be able to see that our connection status will change. And that's happened for the first DSM. 
Second DSM is probably replicating at the moment to replicate that certificate information. So we're just going to refresh here briefly. And there we have a connected status. So that is the initial configuration of the KMS systems with the DSM. Now the second piece of this is going to be with Windows 10 servers that I have on vSphere. And I'm going to show you a couple different options here now that we have our KMS systems enabled. We can allow essentially two different things. So we can edit our VM policies to change that policy to a default VM encryption policy. And that VM encryption policy is going to encrypt the VMDK of that VM. So moving forward, we can see that that's completed and the VM configuration files are now encrypted on that hard disk. What we can also do is we can go to edit settings of this VM. And you'll notice that since our KMS systems are configured, we have trusted platform modules that are now available to us. So this trusted platform module will help us to secure secrets for Credential Guard through the KMS systems that are configured with vSphere. It's as simple as adding that device and clicking OK, and now we can essentially utilize that VTPM module with this Windows machine. That's the end of the configuration with VMware and the Talus KMS. If you have any questions, please visit us at talustct.com. Thank you.